Fargo 5. I'm here with Tony Tilton, and we are talking Fargo Fresh. So, going on around the city, I don't know, Tony, do you ever go to Burger King? Very rarely. I'm not a Burger King guy. And not, not a fast uh, food guy at all? Clo- well, I am a fast food guy to a point, only because out of necessity, really. But um, I heard that one just closed again. So it's, Again, yeah. That so, was from KVRR, um, a, another Burger King which was the location closed. abruptly closed. Um, it was the one over by Perkins, I believe, judging oh, really? based on the photograph. The interstate? Wow, that's yeah. interesting because you'd think that would be always busy. I know it's I know it's a big labor issue with a lot of these. Um, Taco John's was the other issue too. You know what is behind all this labor shortage? You suppose? Um, I think it's a generational thing. Number one. Really? Uh huh. Nobody. I work in s- several industries and work with a lot of people that are employers, mm-hmm. and they all tell me the same story that nobody under twenty five wants to work, mm. or if they do, they. Th- think they should be able to sit around and do nothing all day and yeah. pay for it <laughs> and um and they don't know the meaning of work huh. um, that's a that's a big issue because if you're not raised by your parents to get off your butt and do your chores and everything like that that follows you later on where you think everything's going to be handed to you so that's one issue that's not the only issue i don't want to sound negative on just the, the youth but yeah but it's also <coughs> through COVID, i think a lot of people got used to not um having much and they're used to living on that and maybe they're comfortable with that it's it's a problem that's nationwide right now they're having a lot of problems getting people i mean these these places are all paying people very well they're paying 17 18 bucks an hour to be at a burger joint you know? yeah but eggs are like five dollars a dozen so <laughs> very true that well it's not quite it's three something but yeah i know what you mean though it it, it is cost of living but then again, how are they doing this without a job? That's the other key point to it. Yep. If that's the case, then it would be more ins- expensive. So somehow they're getting the means to not go to work. And so you think people aren't? You think they're not working? I definitely think people are not working. I know people are not working. Um, they're not accepting, or they're working for a short time, getting X amount of dollars to just subsist on, and go on from there. But I think a lot of people are. Living off of other people's money too. Yeah, that's a big part of it. So I know it's an issue. And Definitely an interesting, interesting time. Well, it's going to be incentive and everything else. You know, prices are a big issue. Cost of living is a big issue. But and so you know, obviously, um, pay has to come up. But it, it's not a fine point. They're offering a lot of money for certain for jobs that they would have pay half that just five years ago so you're involved in like ten thousand different things yeah. I, do, you, do you have people do you hire or you have PR, or I'm hr a, people or no, you hire I'm, someone no, directly I'm, I'm the hr person as well i at my i run a small company with that and i deal with that all the time but i i'm pretty good at screening people for for things like that fortunately the people that you know what i do and with more at access stuff is that people who come there um, who work with us are want to be there and they want to do that sort of thing. They they want to pursue this, um, so we don't really run into that issue. Um, I get though is I get the whole point of, yeah, you, you know, you're applying for a job at a Burger King. You you're maybe it's just you're trying to get a job, and you may not be expecting it to be a lot of work, but it's like, at some point you gotta just crunch down and do the gig, you know you definitely get another job if that's what you want and i think that's the choice is there for people to move around laterally a little bit more that's another issue i think people have a lot of opportunities There's a lot of opportunities and they're and the thing is that because everyone's having a problem getting labor they they're having to pay more so there's a lot of chance where if they were used to working at 10 12 bucks an hour now they're being offered 17 to 20 bucks an hour for the same job exactly they can move around and try something else um, but at the same time, if you're moving around constantly and you're at a job for weeks or a month or two and you're moving on, at some point, no one's going to hire you. You know, you're going to have to put in a little time and just work. The- yeah. Theoretically. <laughs> yeah. yeah, theoretically. I, we'll I, I, it, yeah, we'll they're, they're, they out. seem to be getting away with it for now. Yeah, we'll see how it shakes out. Moving on, we've yeah. got record broken for the most days over 40 degrees consecutively. Yeah. It's well, been a warm one. I mean, it was 90 just two weeks ago. It's been a warm one, but it's, you know, it's funny. People talked about, like, this is a major thing. Um, it's nothing. In the 70s, when I was growing up here, it would be in the hundreds for really? a month. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, July was a roasting month. And, and you lived August through it. Year. Yeah. 
everyone lived through them. We didn't have air conditioning either back then. <laughs> Seriously, we didn't. <laughs> yeah, not I everybody had no central air, air. It was a fan at night, you know. So, um, and we've seen much colder winters. The coldest, the, the hottest hots and the coldest colds are other records that we haven't gotten to yet. Yeah. So this is, they're, they're inventing records now. That you think? The longest stretch of being hot, well, by a day or something yeah. compared to 50 or 80 years ago. Give me a break. You know, things are going to change cyclically, and that's just the way it goes. Well, and it is, statistically, there's always something notable. Right. Right. Like there's always I what I like to say is one in a million things happens 6000 times a day. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> or 9000 times now. Gosh, well, I show my age. Stats are merely what you make of them, too. You really you can. Know. There's lies, you, damned lies and statistics. Exactly. Exactly. So statistics don't mean much to me at all on that. In that case, there's got to be some pretty damning major impact of a lot of statistics before I'm going to pay a lot of attention to it. Yeah. So. But uh, at least we've got good weather, although yeah. I think it's supposed to rain on Friday. Yeah. Do you um, think that's going to affect uh, Valley Con at all? Actually, it help it. Cool, you know, crappy weather is better for an indoor event. I suppose, people. They, they don't want to be <laughs> outside. Their outdoor plans got right. canceled. If you got, you know, we all know that winter is coming, and uh, so if it's a nice weekend, people would rather be outside running around having fun, so... If it's kind of crappy, it's actually going to help us. <laughs> Very good. Winter is coming. That's from uh, Game of Thrones. Right. Probably yeah. another. Or yeah. I don't know. Do you still see people cosplaying Game of Thrones? Sometimes you do. Yeah. I feel I like mean, they whiffed see, the last season so poorly. Yeah, but I mean, you still see people that are in the Daenerys, you know, really? and stuff like that. Yeah, um, not as much, but it's a it's regrettable because it, it was the last big fantasy thing that came out that that was notable. It was so good. Yeah, and it makes me so. And sometimes, well, like I'll just be sitting to, like, there, I'll rings just of think. Power, the, you know, rings of power. <laughs> I can't. I, yeah, I just yeah. can't. It's yeah. not Lord of the Rings. Nope. It's, and it's like, <laughs> give me a break. I hear Peter Jackson's coming back to the franchise. Oh, really? To, and to do more of a direct Silmarillion um, hmm. stuff, which would be great. But the, they Here's they open. dropped the ball on on the, the Rings of Power, and you know that's sad. There's a lot of those franchises that they've messed up, and. Some of it's just their the way they're interpreting things and what they're doing with it too and stuff. But, but you know, fans are not showing up and they're that they're voting with their feet. Yep. So if you're screwing up, you then you were screwing either you're being told that you screwed up. Yeah. You know. Very true. Moving on, we are gonna listen to some unknown mortal orchestra. They were in town here actually really? Years ago, I saw them in person. It was mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. I do. You, are you familiar with unknown mortal orchestra? A little bit. There, I. They are no hand of God, like top five favorite bands. Mm. I love UMO. So we are going to listen to Like Acid Rain and be back with Fargo favorites. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> 